Ooh. Somebody. Somebody is, is living on the edge today. Did you fart? No, I'm just saying someone grabbed the reins and was like, man, this is happening. And I don't care who it hurts. I don't care if I have to leave Sean at his house. I'm, I'm going to ride my motorcycle <laughs> oh, to the podcast. What? Ever. You open with that, really? What? what? I'm, I'm late to podcast. I figured you guys were already no, setting up late. and over here. Hold on. Hold on. This was qualified. You you were delayed. You, you had men me messaged well, us right. earlier. I'm delayed. Yeah. I mean, you look, no, this was sincerely a delayed. And I did you give had, you a heads up dinner with it. your kid. So I figured, you know, hey. And you got over here before 7 o'clock. It was about yeah, was 7 bad? or 6.40 good. or so. I, I was just kind of puzzled while you rode your motorcycle. Because I thought you were already here. Jesus. Many other times I've wanted to ride it, but I'm like, I'm not putting Sean on the back of my bike. Yeah, but who normally rides? have him, like, groping me. Who and, normally rides home with you? And, and caressing and, your breast. Yeah, and, like, sniffing my neck. So I'm still... You've I done that to him. You know, I, I have, still have to get <laughs> home, though. Well, right. Hmm. Yeah. Tell you what, why don't you jog by my bike? Oh. Well, All right. That's Welcome to the latest edition of Dudes Like Us. We have a guest tonight. It's our second uh, show in August. In August, it do. It is. And, and yeah. our our guest, we've been asking for the second week in a row, Absolutely. and he's like, "Oh my you guys, God. I've been really busy, you know, but I'm back." Yeah, he, here. he put it in the book. Glad to be here, and yeah. you guys. Well, welcome, John. To be rocking. Welcome well, thank to the you. podcast. Thank John's you. a dude like us. Welcome. I'm Sean. I'm Paul. And I'm Jeff. And I'm John. There you go. There we go. It's almost like a PBS thing. <laughs> John's got that, that soft voice. Sweaty balls. Yes. Sweaty balls. Yes. Who's that muffin so top? Oh, I like my muffin a little yeasty. <laughs> <laughs> I watched that recently. It's really funny. <laughs> it's a great skit. All right. Well, All right. Uh, what are we going to start off today? When we start off with Paul, with, I'll tell you what, talk about your motorcycle. You have a nice motorcycle. I have never. I've always wanted a motorcycle, but I've always been discouraged to, to get one just because of all the the bullshit the drama I have to deal yeah. with my family. Mm -hmm. You don't need to be driving a motorcycle. You're gonna you're gonna live by the van by the river? What are you gonna do? No, I, I just want to ride a motorcycle. So I never got one. I, I get it. I got a lot of grief. A lot of grief. Yeah. I mean, do you still get a lot of grief? Uh I mean for if it's well it's brand new. The, well, I mean, the people the people that you know know about it don't when you give go me out when you ride nude that's when you get the grief. <laughs> no, actually, that's what they prefer. <laughs> yeah, most of my neighborhood is like, "Why you have clothes on? Come on!" Well, that's, of course, they're screaming. You, you got to break really loud. You got to break in that leather seat. You know, you got to get that natural juices in there and get, get the, the oils. Basket. It's like a nice oily best catcher's mitt. You gotta, How did this go wrong he, so fast? Needs to get the castorum because you got to buy it. That's why. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Well, no. well, in I, all, I all fairness, it, it's a uh, it, it's a it's a wonderful bike. Yeah. It's. Did you say castorum? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. Is that a body oil that is it, that it secretes from the scrotum? Uh, what no, is the castorum? That's, that's beaver anus oil. It's oh. it, it's a that's it's what, a anal they, gestation. Well, that's, that's the, what vanilla comes that's from. That's what yeah, fake vanilla comes <laughs> from. Fake yes. vanilla comes from. Did you know that, John? No one told me it was going to be this kind of a conversation. Yeah. Come on, well, guys. Come on. You know, well, you know me, which means I, you should have known that. I told that's John true. it's that's a very true. therapeutic uh, dudes like us where we talk about dudes like us, things growing up in life and doing dudes like stuff, which is, includes buying a motorcycle with your midlife crisis. Yes. You know, you say that. So I wanted a, I've wanted a bike since it I was in a, college. A it let, me, is let me put this way. Absolutely, it qualifies as a midlife crisis. Well, then thing. it would be like the third midlife crisis. Thing. Now you're going to oh, get like a convertible yeah. Corvette There's or something. There's a bucket. Because, because here's the thing like, my wife has always known I've wanted a bike, right? So when I approached her about it, she was like, okay. As opposed to, why do you want a bike? Are you going through a midlife crisis? I mean, it's dangerous. I mean, she gave me zero grief at all. She goes, I thought it was a Tundra that you wanted. Exactly. I didn't get the Tundra. <sighs> And instead, I got the bike. How, how did that happen? I mean, what made you decide to do this? Well, because they Probably wanted the to charge me. Because you know how, yeah, you know right now how used, the used car market is. Oh, no, the new new car and used car, right? Oh, and I hell. was like, there was no way I was going to pay that there kind of money. There are a lot of factors, yeah. Yes. Kids in college. You got the kids. The kids wanting cars. I mean, Brody's oh, yeah. about to get a car. He just got a car. Lydia Reality is kind of so Lydia had buyer's yeah, remorse before is. you even bought I think I was a day and a half away from it being delivered and me buying it, and I was like, I can't. I mean, I was, it was, every day it was gnawing at me when I thought about how much it was going to cost per month. Right, yeah. and I was like, I can't, I can't do that. It's, it's <clears throat> irresponsible. Yeah. Like with with all the things you just said, I still have a kid in college. There's a lot. I got going one on. graduating high school here in the, the next parts. year or so. 
I go, it's just irresponsible. So and what I knows. do, I bought the same amount with the bike. <laughs> That's an expensive bike. No, you bike. did not. Yeah. No, oh, of course not. It's like a sixth of that cost. Yeah. And you got something that you enjoy, and you're going to probably enjoy it more. And, you know, the only crappy thing is that I probably won't be able to enjoy it with you. However, we you we, could we, we we could entertain purchasing one of those little sidecars that will attach to it. <laughs> yeah, this sounds pretty good. I would love that. Is that a thing? A triple sidecar. It car. is a thing. And all three a of you can get me in. <laughs> well, it could be one, one on each side, one in the back. Yes. Oh, it'd be amazing. <laughs> oh. So let me ask you, what kind of helmet do you have? Uh, I have a full visored helmet, so it's not one. Uh, you want to know the brand name? I think it's no, H- no, just just a style. Yeah, yeah. So the it's color. a full full helmet with a full visor, right? I don't, I'm not doing the half helmet. Does it have or one of those little face. Nazi spikes on the top of it? It doesn't. I didn't get all crazy. I just bought a, a what, swastika on a the side. Black, a Any black. graphics on it? I mean, I haven't put anything on it. I did buy a a, a second visor that is tinted. So I have a clear one that came with the, the helmet, oh, I see. and then I have a tinted one for the 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 morning bike rides that we go on. Uh-huh. So, you know, so I, I don't... So it doesn't look like one of those plague eaters, the plague helmets that they no. used to wear? <laughs> I, I, like the big bird beak and everything? No, it was between that and the, the hell, bird beak like, one. Yeah. Like, yeah, no. The, the plague, the, the guys that come <laughs> oh. in there and bury the bodies. <laughs> yeah, they, they used have, to wear the big... Yeah. They had uh, looked like a bird head. Yeah, yeah so it was kind of creepy. What was the, What's the story behind that outfit? Uh, they what actually movie wore those. That was they, a movie, right? That, I mean, no, I, that's I, a I real. That's the way they. That's yeah. the way they dressed during the the Black Plague times. They, oh, that was an outfit. That's right. I saw that. Oh, on I know what you're PBS about. or something. <clears throat> so that was like they were like respirators. Yeah, well, like I don't this know. Long but snouted like... ant eater respirator. Yeah, ring thing. around the rosy pocket full of posies. Ashes, ashes yeah, will plague. fall down. Yeah, the plague. That's what that's from. You're right. Isn't that crazy? How we did that as a kid and never knew what that was. Yeah, those right there. Yeah, that was the first COVID. Well, I don't, they didn't look like that. They didn't have a beard. <laughs> it was on the them. first COVID. Yeah, they I did. mean, it kind of no, was. Yeah. Were, you know, th- those are the well, well, they've, well, they've been exaggerated right now, but that's what they used to wear. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, I guess so. Yeah, see? Oh, God. That wow. was awful. Yeah. Well, you got to leave a lot of room in there for you to uh, sneeze. Why yeah. the beak? I don't get it. It's for it's your like tongue. It's right. for your tongue. I had long tongues back well, then. Well, I would Man. Have, I would imagine that you would they need grew some sort of uh, a lot of happy women during that period. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, that long beak, I, w- I would imagine that it could be pretty claustrophobic. Uh, I mean, it's already claustrophobic, but can you imagine having it uh, no room at all? I yeah. mean, you would need some sort of area to be yeah, able to breathe. Suck. Yeah, well, I don't those know are what, creepy looking though. Yeah, they are. But you know, they've been Hollywoodized and everything, so it looks even extra creepy now. But. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, so no, to answer your question, I did not buy that motorcycle helmet. Yeah. Oh. Okay. You should, yeah. Well, I, I think it's cool. I, I'm a little envious. I'm It'd be a lot cool envious, to see you riding actually. down the street like that and all your black leather and then that rolling down with whoa, it. Whoa, 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 oh, whoa. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. the black first school cops yeah. will stop you, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Sir? Sir? <laughs> and what I need is like a canister on my back that's spring, like green gas. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, like, yeah. That would be wow. perfect. And I'll just say I'm spraying for mosquitoes. Right? Well, they do that How already, but it's that white uh, West gas. Nile. You know, it's crazy. I, it I don't heard. Good for us. I haven't heard much of West Nile in a while. Yeah, that, that was. I, I'm, have I, you guys ever seen that? What time did they go around? They go around when everybody's sleeping. Like, like at four in the o'clock in the morning, yeah. so it's not nobody really knows about and it. And they're sitting well, there just blowing this. Oh, gas all it's over like the It's like euthanizing it, us while it, we're it, asleep. It can't be good. Is yeah, it still happening? I, I haven't seen it in a while. Yeah, it's been about three years. I see a sign that hey, we're spraying for mosquitoes. Uh, I saw one this year. Oh. Yeah. Well, you know, they there's all kinds of uh, uh, sprays that they do. In fact, you know, I'm kind of wondering uh, what is the reality on on these these jets, uh, these cargo planes that are leaving these uh, chemtrails. Those, those chemtrails. They're they're saying that yes. absolutely that that is a way for uh, manufacturers to disperse their um, leftover toxic shit. And that's they load it on a plane and they they disperse it through a chemtrail and so like there's commercial crop dusters. Well, no, but this is way high up, so it's kind of like they have a plane. They just that's a kind of a conspiracy. There's been no proof on that yet. I know, uh, there's, there's, I know been, there's a lot of talk about it. There's been uh, some people that have uh, stood up and uh, and, and kind of like uh, the the Department of Energy snuffing out those. Electric, uh, electros, le- water powered engines, you know, they just disappear off the face of the earth. You never hear about it again. So you don't know if they've been uh, disqualified uh, 
But that's just the whole thing. If they've been disqualified, you would think that you'd be able to find a record that would say, no, man, this has been disqualified, debunked, you know, so yeah. forth. But you don't see that. You don't see Not anything. Not at all. So you're kind of like, all right, well, yeah, what happened would, to that story? But I think the EPA would be going ape shit over well people. not if they're getting paid off exactly i mean this mm. is the united states of america you can do what you want as long as you got money it's a secret society it yeah. can be we have to i wonder if you acknowledge united. that well, look it what, can be look what just happened to trump the ex-president got raided you know i'm, I'm I, torn on I this whole thing i literally can't believe it well you, look uh, you, people should be up in arms about this however if this is real i mean what if he did what if he did have some top secret stuff he yeah. shouldn't have in and, there and actually, it was documented when he was in office that he was taking secret papers or documents well, out of the White House. And, 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 and who knows? And, at the time, it may have been talked about. Secret. It was going, what the heck are you doing? You know, but he was. You know? Yeah, um, I don't so, know. So, I mean, I don't know. I, I just don't think it's There's proper. a lot of stories out there about there, that. Yeah, yeah I, I promise you there's the, the, but better can, ways to handle that can you than to raid the ex-president. If you're like house. one of the folks that are working in the his prop, on his property, and right. you go in the office, and you're dusting, and you're like, oh, let me just clean up this area here. And you go in this room, it's like all this top secret boxes. And you're kind of like, this is kind of odd. Mm -hmm. uh, so, And then if you get a Democrat, that's kind of what, a loose... What? So you think there's <laughs> top secret tape, and it says, you, May, you know please what? don't open there, it. There could be... There's, look, if you get... Eyes only. And, yeah. and I hate I hate slamming... <laughs> uh, private eyes only. A, a hot a hot-headed Democrat that, that kind of stifled his way into Trump's property somehow. But if there were, and you get someone in there that's got some sort of issue with Trump, and they're kind of like, they're looking for anything. I know. Anything to keep him from running. And you know again. what? If he's got a box, if he's got twenty boxes that say top secret on there, and he's not supposed to have them, I heard it wasn't top secret. I heard it was. It isn't top secret. It's, it's just archival sorry. stuff. But for, yeah. for it, like, it doesn't matter. My my point well, is, sure it does. The, the Big spirit time of it is, if he has documents that he's not supposed to have. Just like Hillary. Then he's breaking the law. Yeah. Right. Well, you know, there's no comparison because, you, you know, you, the, the, and I hate me, I don't want to make this a left versus right thing. You know, I, I just, I, I think that Hillary was wrong. I think she should have been held accountable. You know, when, when, when you pay someone $50,000 to, to, to bit bleach your, your servers to, because it had not only sensitive materials on the servers, but it was hacked. And there's proof that the, those servers were hacked by the know? Russians. By the Russians. And it's just like, come on, own it. And if, if this is something that Trump did, and you know, and, and honestly, look, let's think about this. If, if you think honestly, Trump's going to pack those boxes, he doesn't give a fuck about those boxes. Somebody packed that shit for him, right? So if there was something in there, that's he's going to be like, "I didn't know that shit was in yeah, there." Yeah, that's another conspiracy theory that that literally the National Archive, whatever, uh, they gave those boxes to him, and I guess they want them back or something like that. Okay, give and so them the back. and the conspiracy is. They put shit in the boxes so that when the FBI raided them, it would be you know the smoking gun documents that he wasn't supposed to. Wow, have. that's that's really uh, oh, far reaching, John. There's so many ridiculous there's so much stuff. Oh, there's you know? so it's, many. It's ridiculous. just because anytime you say Donald Trump, there's going to be all these crazies stories, all these things happening, whether it's right or wrong. Sure, it's going to happen. Yeah. You know, so if he's back in office, this is going to continue. Oh, big time. Okay. So so then, you know. I see it as just a continuation of the witch hunt that they, the media. And the Russia, the, Russia, Russia. It, it's from the time that he started running where they bugged his a campaign office. Yeah, they impeached him twice. Till uh, yesterday. No, hold on. But no, it, they, and all they that's been proven his false. Campaign all office been proven false. from before he was even president. That's what I mean. Before he had he a conversation ran. with the Mexican president on a private phone, and the press knew about it. Right. Right. How does okay? that happen? That was I know. That is because they absolutely bugged. Well, that's what he said. They bugged, they bugged it, the Trump Tower. It's amazing, and you know that would never happen if it were on the other side. And I'm just like. But then the question is, would it? Could it? I mean, sure could. Oh, of course it could. Sure could. But yeah. I mean, you just don't hear about it, and it's just it's frustrating. It's it frustrating. Is. So yeah, I'm up in arms about it because you know there's a trend. There's a trend that that's that's obvious that we're seeing, and you know if Trump is guilty for having shit he shouldn't have, well you know what he needs to own it. 
You know, well, I agree with that, and but it, I have a hard time believing it just because of the track record that has happened over the last agree. That, six years. It's just years. frustrating. Yeah, man. the hatred. Yeah, the hatred and, and the, the witch. The and the thing is, is that was he? I mean, and people there's they're on the other side. They're kind of like, well, he was such a horrible president. Well, you know, I don't really see him being a horrible president. I see him being kind of a jackass. Yeah, and those are I've always two called very different year, things. I've called him a twelve-year-old bully. That's what I've yeah, always called him. You know, He's an idiot on Twitter. All all successful billionaires can be called the same. You right, know, yeah. who gives a shit? As long as shit's getting done the way it's supposed to be getting right. done. I mean, the Abraham Accords. Right. I mean, come on. I mean that that's by itself should have got himself the Nobel Peace Prize, and we've talked about that before. Right. You know, yeah. but now what is Biden trying to rename it? <laughs> is he no? Yeah, no. They, they yeah. Well, they're, just, no, they're just not using the the phrase Biden Accords. Yeah. They're, so they're instead avoiding, of using the Abraham avoiding, Accords, yeah. they're going to use another a term for it. We're not going to yeah. use that because we don't want to give Donald yeah, Trump say, credit like, for a God blessing thing. Yeah, the, they just yeah. say peace, peace, uh, mid east peace. No, the, rather. the Lincoln Accords is what they're going to go. Not to change the what subject. What I call it? The Lincoln? <laughs> no, the well, Abraham did, Accords? You did last week. Oh, well, Who'd, oh, he called them the Lincoln Accords. The Lincoln Accords. Oh. Accords. Well, uh, you know what? We, uh, we're probably a little seasoned. Well, Not to change the subject, but did you guys see Johnny Depp jamming with uh, Jeff Beck? No, I did not. You Johnny did? Depp and Jeff Beck. Beck. Yes. Didn't in Europe, and they actually had, you know, a lot of concerts or in in small venues. I, I've and never. It was right I've after seen the, all kinds of stuff with Johnny Depp and yeah. him playing guitar, but I've never heard the quality of the stuff. I'm I'm curious so he, how he, he sounds. So he's pretty talented. He sings and he plays guitar. And if he's with Jeff Beck, oh, you God. know, I Jeff mean, Beck you is know, a, he's phenomenal. He's a rock star. The musicians that he had, the bass player and the drummer, were phenomenal. Okay, um, well, we need and, to see uh, a clip of this. And, and yeah. Uh oh, now they're talking about Johnny Depp ripping off a song, <laughs> stealing the lyrics know. to something. All right, but we want to see a YouTube video of uh, Johnny Depp and Jeff Beck jamming. Yes. Out. Uh, let's see. That if we would can be find very one. cool. All right. Yes. And he plays guitar? Yes. And this was right after the um, he, he, Amber Heard where Johnny he won. trial. Oh, like the day after. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was funny that he Afterwards, went to go he celebrate. Just, he just said, "I'm leaving," and he did. Yeah. You know, next thing you know, he's on stage with the Jeff Beck. Oh, he's just like, let's and get back to was perfect. Let's yeah, get back yeah, to life. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, he well, won his case and then did this, and then shortly thereafter got re-signed for the Pirates of the Caribbean, which. is Oh, he did get re-signed. That's what I heard. I heard. Oh. He, I heard that didn't happen. Yeah, it's back and forth. I'm not exactly yeah. sure oh, that it's happened. Not done. But yeah, it's, it's not. I heard back a and sure forth. thing yet, but I'm sure it will happen. All right, let's see. Let's see how how qual- All right, what have we got here? Those go guys are like your parents' age. Jeff Beck. Yeah, they they look like the Walking Dead. <laughs> yeah, look at that. <laughs> they do. That's Jeff Beck. A little loud. Yeah, it is a little loud. Yeah, there, there, there may be some slower songs there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one's a little yeah. too upbeat. Yeah, well, I don't think he's, Johnny Depp, he's in this one. Oh, so he was just—he was like a guest star. Yeah, he would come out and you know he would do a couple of songs. He'd sing, play guitar. Okay. That's kind of cool, though. I well, mean, this is, yeah, I, I think that's Jeff really Beck. cool, right? Oh, oh very I mean, Jeff well. Beck is, is an icon. I mean, gosh. Absolutely. It's like Eric Johnson, you know, just having someone come out of the blue. Yeah. Like that. Like, Eric Johnson's actually from Austin, so yeah, I don't that's know. very doable. Yeah. I'm not sure if he was ever going to come out on that one. Maybe he'll come out of a different one here. Okay. No, oh, he's playing the acoustic guitar. Come on, and, Johnny. Bring and it. He's, and he's dressed like... Uh, All right, so you see on the stage, you got Johnny Depp playing the acoustic guitar with Jeff Beck. Got a sold-out crowd. Of course, Johnny Depp. And, and is he really doing anything or not? Uh, looks like he's... Yeah. He's yeah. playing one note. Yeah. <laughs> one chord. <laughs> one chord. It's like, Johnny, we, we want you to come again. out there. We but he looks to pretty all damn your cool, right? Make sure you put your, your neckerchief on and your 15 bracelets. Why is he uh, dressed like Captain Jack Sparrow? Because he is Jack Sparrow. Interesting. Johnny yeah. Depp on stage with. Yeah. With well, Beck. you know, look, good. I haven't heard him sing though. Does Johnny Depp sing? Yes. Yeah, he has a couple of songs he sings. Maybe this one. 
Oh, there he is. He's talking or something. Oh, he's pulling out his real guitar now. Ooh. Just pull that thing out. It turned it out just a little bit more. Austin. All right, here we go. The debut of Johnny Depp, the rock star. People say we got it made. Don't they know we're so afraid? Of Sounds like you, Paul. Thanks. Wait, is that good or bad? And he looks like you, Paul, as well. Got a very oh, weird. Thank you, John. It's got a Roger Waters kind of sound. Well. No. No, not, not my cup of tea. Not your cup of tea. No. no. I like the boots. But you know what? The, I think the cool thing is that he's out there jamming. Exactly. Right. And, yeah, yeah. and that's what uh, yeah, I that's, got a lot of respect that's, for. That's what it is. And this is right after the trial. You know, he just packed so up and went. How many? Yeah. Uh, you, can, you can probably fade that out. All right, so how many movie stars <laughs> have done that? Uh, uh, Russell Crowe has his own band, right? Yeah, Russell Crowe's a jackass. Uh, I don't think so. No? I mean, I, I, I haven't seen him. <laughs> uh, Did you see Russell Crowe how many, in the how many? last movie he was in? <laughs> Thor, he's really let himself it. go. I didn't see that. Yeah, see if you can pull up a picture of Thor in the last movie he was <laughs> he's in. He's in but, Thor. I didn't know. Uh, that. Did I say Thor? Yeah, yeah he said Thor. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, he was in Thor. Whatever the fuck that thing is. I haven't uh, watched that yet. Yeah, right. but he's he's really let himself go, and he's evidently he's Zeus in the in the that Marvel movie, and he walks out and he's got a, a gold breasted uh, plate uh, on, and he's wearing this little uh, mini skirt kind of. Uh, White little skirt, and he's frolicking around. <laughs> kind of a Scottish thing? Uh, it, no, it wasn't a kilt-like thing. Um, Look up Russell Crowe. I don't know if it'll pull up. Hopefully it'll pull it up. He looks good there. Yeah, well, well that's, that's not a gladiator. gladiator <laughs> yeah. When he was in tip-top shape. Which was that's a, a badass movie. That was, yeah, yeah, really was good. Here. Rick Springfield was an actor, and he had a band. And he, oh, had, he was a band first. He had a bunch he of had hits it. and yeah. everything else. So uh, hold on, Rick Springfield was on a well, a he's soap on opera. General soap Hospital. opera. Yeah. But he was, he was a, an actor, you know. Yeah, I mean, you know, he was very, he was very well known, and then and then he had a band as well, and he had a bunch of songs out in the charts and so forth. I don't know why it's so difficult to find a picture of fucking uh, Russell Crowe as Thor, as Zeus, as there Zeus. Is, there he is. There yeah, he is. Yeah, but that's not that's that. <laughs> you got to see the ensemble. It's. So you're saying he had the XXL chest plate? Yeah, he's just an oversized. He's he's obviously been gluttonous over the you know I guess for the character or whatever it is. I know he is one of those guys who adds and takes off weight for the character. Yeah, this is amazing that you, we we cannot find his fucking skirt. A picture you know, there's a lot of full outfits. There's a lot of actors that that have done that. That balloon up and then lose weight and then balloon up and lose weight. Well, I tell you what, it yeah. can't be good for them. Well, no. I, I tell you, one person who did that a lot was the other guy in this. Um, who 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 played the who played the bad guy in this? In What's Thor? his name? In Thor. I don't uh, know. I haven't seen it. He he was in uh, <sighs> Christian Bale. He played a role called I think in The Machinist, and he got down to under hundred pounds. Oh gosh. Or a hundred pounds, and he looked. And that was for the character. That can't be good. So yeah, so stick in and, there, Christian Bale. Uh, I think the Machinist is is the name of the movie, and uh, that uh, and then awful. he and then he beefs up for, um, Batman. Batman, right? Oh uh, yeah, I uh, yeah. You know, it is amazing. There's a. Uh, the, the guy from Sunny, uh, always Sunny in Philadelphia. Here he is. Mac uh, did the same thing. He no. Yeah, yeah that can't be real. He, yeah. That yeah, looks it is. anorexic, man. Yeah, that's, he, yeah. that's real. He did yeah. that to his body. Mm-hmm. Wow. And who was? Didn't Tom Hanks? Uh, oh, for a Castaway. No, mm-hmm. for the one where he had dying of oh, cancer. Oh, Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Story? Philadelphia. Yeah. yeah. I never saw that. I don't yeah. Know. McConaughey as well. I can't remember the oh, name yeah. of the movie. But oh, he that lost was a, great a bunch movie. of weight, yeah. and then he could not regain it afterwards. Really? He looked bad. Is I that mean, where he, he was? That was the AIDS movie? Uh, Dallas yeah. something club? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's exactly what it was. It was Dallas. Yeah. Dallas. 
That was a good movie. That was something. Yeah, you know, it's a that's a lot of stuff. You know, it, and you know, hats off to some of these actors and actresses that can do stuff like that. I mean, it still doesn't put them above us. I mean, I want to recognize them for being able to put their body through that. It's like, wow, that you're crazy for yeah. doing that. Being great entertainers, but you're not an authority on anything. They are. So just get your little. Like Ricky Gervais says, get your little trophy, say thanks to Mom, Pa, and God, and shut the fuck up. <laughs> right. <laughs> I love Ricky Gervais. I really enjoy Ricky Gervais, man. Yeah, he said uh, that on stage to I, them. Did you watch his I was latest? Up his body, he said, I don't care. It's my last one. Yeah. He's did you watch his latest Netflix special? Yeah. Uh-huh. He's uh, He announces all kinds of crazy shit that he's... Uh, yeah, he goes uh, after everybody. Uh, atheist. He does... Hey, I gotta be honest. I'm I'm always honest. You know, I don't like it when they start dogging Trump. You know, and, well, you have and, to accept f- it if they make fun of everybody. You know what? They, they as long as they make fun of everybody, yeah. I don't care. They don't care. they don't though. They get ca- and he's gonna get categorized. And, and I'll tell you what, I like Ricky Gervais, but I'm like I'm I'm blowing him off. I'm, I mean, now I'm he's in the fifty percent category. Yeah, that's hmm. a crapshoot. If I watch some of his stuff again. Yeah, I watched it. I didn't pick that up. I picked up that he was making fun of all of it. <laughs> off he of did make fun people, of a lot of people. A lot but of religious people. When it like came atheist. to the politics of stuff, he demonized Trump over everybody. And that that's kind of my thing. And it, it, it was unwarranted. Are we too sensitive? I don't think it was being too sensitive. I think that he was wrong. Are we too snowflakey? Uh, no, I think that his facts, you know, I, I, his facts were wrong. But I've reflected on he that lied. too. I, I right. try to think: Am I? Am I? He so lied defensive? to the people to to make a joke. And, and, it, and it and it depends. To Sean's point, if they're if they're continuing to bring up lies, like the Charleston thing, right? Oh, right, I agree Where they claim that. that he said that the right. the neo Nazis were very fine people. That is an outright lie. And if they keep repeating that, yeah, that, then that's they, my they, point. And then they lose credibility. No, I'm not I gonna, agree. I'm not going to listen to that. I agree. Right? Was that on his latest one? Because I didn't pick up any of that on his latest one. So sorry, man. I drank some of the bourbon, and I needed to wash it back with something. But and we need to talk about the bourbon too. But uh, no, oh, but he did say something that was wrong. It was an outright lie. So remember. and when I hear shit like no, that, Bill it's, Burr. Uh, Bill Burr just did the same thing when it was talking about. Um, All right, uh, I must have missed that because yeah. I because I watched this later. So ah, I, I didn't see it. Yeah. Hey, Mr. What? Producer, pull up the the bourbon that we're drinking. We're drinking a very very hearty bourbon from yeah. New York. You have to chew this. Very thick. It it's is very thick. thick. Lots of legs on this one, but you already have it put up there. I saw uh, Kings County. Yeah, the New York uh, Distillery. Kings County Bourbon. <clears throat> yeah, and I think it's eight hundred proof. It's uh, very no, close. It's one hundred and thirty proof. One hundred thirty proof. So. Okay, I, I was off by a little bit. You can yeah. build the fire with well, stuff. You, you, <laughs> you can. It's all. Yeah, you could. You know how you buy those little bricks at the store to start fires. <laughs> yes. You know what I mean? Just yeah, exactly. pour some of that yeah, on just, it. Yeah, pour the, that's it, all you need. Well, and this is a little more expensive. Do you it's have a hundred dollar bottle, bottle but. You know, maybe an eyedropper. Yeah. Type in yeah. bourbon. That's you know, good. that'll that'll start up everything. Well, anyways, I don't really know. It's uh, well, from memory, it's eighty percent corn and twenty percent malt barley. Oh, we know. And uh, it's basically uh, it, and it's uh, it's been aged to at least four years. And there it is, three to it. six years. There it is, right there. Way to be resourceful. It's, oh, it's from the Finger well, Lake the region. Said that my niece used to live up there in the Finger Lake region. Finger three to Lake. five years, <laughs> aged, one hundred and thirty proof. Nice. <laughs> Finger New Lake. York organic <laughs> corn from the Finger Lakes. And this is what's interesting. They use barley from the UK. Yeah, English. you know what? I, I was I was wondering about that. I kind of wondered if it was like gonna be infused with like peat or something. No, just the barley. Yeah, they didn't they didn't smoke it or anything like that. But uh, And tobacco as well, right? Because I mean I can taste the tobacco. Oh yeah, it's well, got it's got a heavy tobacco. <laughs> It's got some stuff going on. It, you know what? This the uh, it's not bad. I enjoy this. Yeah. I, I can I can I can drink this. It's, yeah, it's I mean, sweet. I have to get used to it, but it, it but it's good. Yeah. Not it like is. you, John. You like to it's you stiff. like to pour a nice big glass of Crown Royal and shoot it, and uh, that's your style of drinking, which is which is a uh, you know that's a that's one way to do it. Well, that, or Jameson, yeah, that's, or that's, Jameson. That's, that's but one. this stuff is not a shooting. No, it's bourbon. not. Uh, it's cool. It can die. be, but it'll it can be, but you'll have burn to burn a couple holes on the way down. It'll yeah. kick your ass too. <laughs> right. Let's do oh, yeah. let's do five <laughs> shots of this real quick. Oh yeah. good lord. Hundred and thirty proof? You'd be God. Five shots. <laughs> and you know and you know what's funny? We, you know, people talk about drinking one oh one wild turkey one oh one. They're oh, like, yeah, that's Man, but this pack's a bunch of me. Oh my god. Yeah. You do that with this? I know. Mm. Yeah. Oh my god. See my shirt? Well, what does it say on here? Uh something Muck something restaurant. McCarty's. Uh, Oh, fuck. McCarty's Mc, restaurant? McNipples. All right. So I went to uh, Jefferson uh, City in Texas um, for my job. 
uh, last week. How does that and, relate to the bourbon? Um, I'm getting there. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, let's get to the, the wild turkey part. Uh, so I, I went there for the job. But by the way, Jefferson uh, City is a, a crazy, for as far as uh, an historical data point, um, it, it is fantastic. I'd love to talk about it for, you know, but I'm not going to. Uh, but it, it basically, it us. the thing about Jefferson City in, in East Texas, East right, Texas, right along, right before you get to Louisiana, is that it, it's known as uh, kind of a, a port where a lot of the immigrants would come off. So when they get off the steamboats, you know, they come over from the United States, and then they get on a boat and they follow the coastline, get up, come up the Gulf, come up the river, and that's like the first land they step on right there. Bam! This is the to Miss- get into the Texas. Mississippi. You're talking about no. This is uh, where Jefferson City's at. Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to pull up the map right now, but there's a river that leads up to there. And that should have been the Dallas, Texas, uh, which we are now Dallas, Texas, but that should have been. But then the some engineers rerouted the rivers uh, so that it would, it would go further north. And they got it, screwed. They, well, whatever. It, it is what it is. But at that time in the 1800s, that was kind of the Dallas, Texas. Who is it named it. after? Thomas uh, Jefferson or uh, Jefferson Davis? You know what? That's a good question. Ooh. I don't. I don't it know. It could be Jefferson Davis since it's in the South. What if it was Bob region. Jefferson? Uh, what if? Could be. <laughs> what if or was Wheezy. Mr. Was the Wheezy <laughs> Jefferson? <laughs> George yeah. Jefferson. Yeah. George <laughs> Jefferson. <laughs> and owns the cleaners right there. <laughs> so, anyways, I step. I go into this bar, and uh, so the first thing I do whenever I go on my travels is I try to hit the Irish bar. And so I'm sitting at the bar, and I'm I'm like, I take the picture, and I ask him for an old fashioned of, of I forget even what kind of bourbon it was, but I, I was like, well, what kind of bourbon do you not know anything about, you know? And he reaches back, he's eh, uh, and he pulls out the wild turkey bottle, and I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? You don't know anything about that? <laughs> this guy's like in his early twenties, and it's just amazing because you're talking about the wild turkey, yeah, and, right. you know, and no one really knows because it's kind of old school. Yeah, and I, guess, just, I guess. Well, it kind of. Yeah, it's not as popular as it used to be. I guess it's yeah, kind of fallen off, maybe. I, I mean, know. but it's a, it's amazing. But wild tar- what wild turkey is? I mean, they have their own grain. They have their they make all their shit from scratch. Yeah, I mean, it's and wild turkey, what it wants uh, is a good bourbon. It is a great bourbon. It's a really good. The bourbon. eighty proof is good too. Wow, well, wow, well, it it's is. a solid bourbon. It really is. But uh, again, I don't know if I'd be shooting. Actually, it probably we could probably shoot wild turkey. And get I, I, I remember yeah. shooting wild turkey when I was in college. It's called a kick and chicken. Okay. And I remember hating it, scratched all the way down. You're just like, God, that's terrible stuff. But yet you, but the buzz was great. Yeah. yeah, the buzz was great. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I, I, yeah, and just... you weren't going to be the one guy that didn't do it, <laughs> right? Every time they pull one of us, like, God, Jeff. I hate yeah. this shit. So, but yeah, that's like me again. drinking wine coolers and everybody's drinking from the keg. Oh. That's back when Zimas were all popular. Right? Was yeah. like, shit, line me up for some Zima shots. Yeah, so Zimas. Bad. Looking back, I'm like, how did I have any friends? <laughs> well, maybe I didn't. <laughs> you didn't. Yeah, I God, did. Or the punch with Everclear. That the punch tasted so incredible. What was Zima? You, no, Everclear. Uh, Everclear. With, with, uh, oh, they're just like, what do you cut a punch? Trash kind of punch, punch yeah. yeah. Yeah, and you would have it because it tastes so good. Oh, wow. And all of a sudden, you, you wake start up with to six see women. Him. The saints all around you, <laughs> talking yeah. to you. You know, yeah, Saint uh, Peter. Well, Everclear. Is, uh, what is the proof of Everclear? One ninety. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, it's damn near pure. It I can, mean, it's, yeah, it can kill you. You know, Robin Williams kind of comes to mind when he's talking about being drunk, and he was talking about drinking Everclear, some sort of fruit punch thing, and he was like, "Oh yeah, we got so stupid drunk, we're just laying in the room, and all of a sudden the ceiling, the ceiling started spinning, <laughs> and it was all place your beds, place your beds, Rolf." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. oh that's the worst there. feeling, right? Yeah. Oh, all of a sudden, the, the, the room starts spinning. <laughs> you're going, when is this going to stop? Yeah, oh, gosh. As soon as you open your eyes. Yeah. And then you're going, oh. Yep. And that's, Put the foot on the floor. And we always say the same thing that next morning. I am never doing that again. Until the next weekend. Yeah. Until yeah. What, the next God, weekend. Three yeah. days later. Exactly. Two days later. Now, if I go back in time, I, I would probably, well, everyone would, but I, I would eliminate a lot of those nights. It's just so excessive. Stupid. Yeah. Debilitating. Yeah. <laughs> Debilitating. It is. You want another bourbon? Yeah. <laughs> now, this one's, I'm actually really enjoying this one. And then this is the, the New York distillery. And I can't really see the name of the bourbon. Is it just straight bourbon? It's called I think Kings it is. County. 
Kings County. That's I thought that's that was it. a distillery. Well, yeah, there's different ones they have listed there, and you can't see. It's any just of them. I think it's just that. So this one's called Straight Bourbon. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, there you go. Straight Bourbon. So what would you want? I want Straight Bourbon. And it's, sir, it's not it's not cheap. What type of Straight Bourbon? I mean, it was a hundred dollar bottle for this. Yeah. Was it really? That's yeah. Amazing. God bless. Yeah. Hundred bucks. It was good. Well, the guy, yeah. the guy who I'm impressed. The guy who recommended it yeah. said that they started making moonshine. For some uppity ups in New York City, right up right. in New York, and uh, they decided to go legit and legal. And the guys that he was selling his moonshine to fronted the money for him to go legitimate. What they say six, seven years ago. So it hasn't been that long. Wow. And uh, like I said, he started like the moonshine right there. I mean, if you're good wow. at it, I mean, there's there's a lot of guys out there where they had. Uh, uh, breweries for beers and you know breweries were popping up in restaurants and brewmasters became uh popular they became you know p- people were wanting brewmasters in their restaurants i, I want to have a, 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 a maestro here and we want to have a, a variety of beers to to, to serve uh imagine it's going to get that way because we went through the phase with all the the different beers remember the the big hit you got cellus and they had all these raspberry and whatever kind of and then a shiner box populated uh you know they just the beer you had rogue beers i mean there were so many beers out there uh now it's starting to hit where things have changed beer people are not drinking beer as much and uh, they're starting to pick up uh, Drinking liquor a little bit more. Yeah, they're. Yeah. it's become more and more popular. I, I was reading a stat about uh, Bourbon Valley. What do you call it? Bourbon Bourbon Trail. Bourbon Trail. Trail. How uh, the sales and how the popularity of the Bourbon Trail has tripled in the last year and a half, two yeah. years. Yes. I mean, it's yeah. just to be well, right I, in the middle of COVID, too. Well, wine sales has gone down as well, you know, but, but uh, during the pandemic, liquor went up. Tremendous. And all it's going to do is make stuff harder to get because there's more people buying it. Right. But I read, I told John this earlier, uh, that uh, Buffalo Trace is spending a billion dollars to expand their distillery. Wow. A billion. That's amazing. That is amazing. Wow. And maybe we can find it, okay? Because every time I go to, to Total Wine, Buffalo Trace is yeah. gone. It's like once That's a true. month they, yeah, um, they have it and then it's gone like in one huh? day. Billion. I know. So, in in you know, and if they've got deep pockets like that where they can do it, uh, hats off to them because there is a market and they need to capitalize. Well, it think on about them right the ones. Now. Think about the ones they sell: the, Buffalo Trace, Eagle Rare, E. H. Taylor, Blanton's, Benchmark, Pap- Pappy's, Benchmark, <laughs> Ancient Age. They sell Ancient Age too. Yes, that's horrible. All wow. all the we- all the Wellers. Right, all those stuff. Oh, really? They do Wellers? Yes. I didn't know that. Yeah. It's amazing. I didn't. Either. All the shit that everyone Come wants, on. basically. Right. Yeah. Right. So they have the capital to to do oh, that, yeah. and, and why not? And they, depending on, or they're planning on doing it in the in Kentucky, yeah. in Kentucky, huh? Yeah. Who, who was the uh, who had the 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 aging barn? I don't know what you call it. Where they the the Rick House, the Rick House that collapsed. Oh, you told us about that. It's a fantastic picture. Look up the Rick House collapse. Oh, well, they had bar- thousands of barrels. Oh just my God, it was tragic. Out there. It's like a tragic picture. Mark or something, wasn't it? <laughs> it was someone big. I thought it's. I thought it was someone big. I thought it was. I don't think it's Buffalo. I Trace, want to say but, it was Jack Daniels. Yeah. So it the picture is awful. It's almost like as bad as the Hindenburg. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. John, look at that. Look at all those barrels of bourbon that oh just. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's tragic. I haven't even seen that that view of it before. Well, I wonder... So it was really bad because it all leaked into this creek. <laughs> wow. And they had to they had to do something. They had to clean it up or something. But, but well, I wonder how much of that is, is salvageable. I don't know. I well, know. I mean, it, 10%? It's such a waste. Maybe. Well, none of it, technically. I mean, from a health standpoint. But, I mean, yeah, you could probably get away with going in there and grabbing. I would. I'd be in there. Ah, oh, look at that. That's just awful. It'd be a river of bourbon. Oh, that's right. so for, for our I, listeners out there, we're, we're, we're looking at so the, uh, the Barton uh, 1792 <laughs> Aging Warehouse. It collapsed, and they literally have thousands of these big 55-gallon barrels. Looks like it just went flat. Mm-hmm. It did? Well, that one, yeah. That it just was went. Not, that, well, whatever. It, it's, it's a huge... 
uh, oh, but they rectangular didn't lose, they didn't lose structure. the whole thing. Look at that. I mean, it looks like half of it went down. Yes. They're lucky the other half didn't go down. So what if you're well, there? Maybe it did. What if you're there in the building when that happens? It was a collapse. Oh, um, the other the other side the other side went down too. Because look, you, that top picture has got the whole thing down. Well, they may they may have um, done it on purpose. They may have removed. Uh, who yeah. knows? Yeah, who knows? They may have called it a total loss. God bless. You imagine the insurance uh, claim on that bad boy. Yes. You'd like to have that claim. Huge. You? Yeah. Give it's me a just, few of these barrels. Yeah. You know, unfortunately, um, they probably weren't insured enough. You know, uh, there's not uh, they've, insurance well, breaks down millions of dollars worth of bourbon. Got right to be oh, definitely. Yeah, but you gotta have uh, when it comes to like insurance, uh, you've got building, and then you have uh, business personal property, which is the stuff in the building. Yeah, I don't know what category that would fall. Big, on. I bet these big distilleries. I bet that's insured. People don't have the products though insured typically. You know, it's it's there's a lot of language in there that. Well, I know I know my warehouse. Uh, everything in there is insured. I Be- wonder. I wonder because if... now it goes up to. Well, it's not a matter of it not being. It's not a matter of it being insured. Well, he, well, it's a matter of the limit of insurance. Well, the, right, because I get phone calls saying, "Hey, the your inventory needs to come down because I have my our insurance policy covers twenty five million dollars worth of product right. in our facility. Yeah, there and you go. you're you have twenty of it right now. <clears throat> right, kind of a thing. So. I wonder if they could do something similar there, saying this is worth oh. ten million dollars. No, hopefully I'm they, they were to, all taken care of. I yeah. mean, there's, it, it, I think there was a lot of people hurt. I mean, the consumers are hurt because they're they're missing out. Uh, the I'm sure the people there. I bet it smelled good. Oh God! I, well, I just, don't know. Just our own experience of a bottle rolling out of the back of my oh, yeah. SUV and. <laughs> Shattering on the pavement, it was a wonderful smell. Jackass. Oh, I know. So I'm guessing if you're ha- hanging around that 1792 bourbon the collapse, thousands of gallons are just all right. John, oozing. let me give you a little background story. All right, so we we go do a total wine uh, run. All right, and uh, that was uh, something in Axe, Axe and Axe and Oak, Axe and Oak, oak. Uh, Axe and Oak. So uh, Paul buys a bottle. That's Axe and Oak. It's, we a, bought, it's Colorado. We uh, we Jeff and I get ours, and I, I don't know why ours didn't fall out, but. Uh, I, think, we, I think we stowed it correctly. Yeah. It, it yeah. was secured properly. No, it was not. So <laughs> it was anyway, Sean's walnuts. We, uh, <laughs> 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 so we, while we're doing our total wine run, we're usually, uh, we, we were sampling bourbons and drinks, and, you know, we usually get a beer, and we usually do what they call a peanut butter and jelly shot walking out the door, which is, uh, you know, uh, some peanut butter whiskey and uh, some sort of flavored uh, vodka. vodka or like jelly. You know, I was using uh, whatever. It doesn't matter. And so it ended up uh, just a combination. And you guys, we morphed it into something even weird, where you guys were doing chocolate, vanilla. Oh, and great. Well, it, it got to the point where it really got gay. But we were super shit faced by six o'clock. Yes, yeah. we, I mean, we we, we, we get, get shit faced walking out the door of Total Wine. And, we're just like, <laughs> and then we sit on the parking lot. We do two little mini bar bottles, and we slam it. And then uh, we had to go run somewhere. I think we needed to go get Brody or something at the skate park. At the skate, skate park. Park, park right. and we oh, uh, the bottles were rolling around in the back and so and plus there was like there were like several bottles of empty beers and i was like hey man pull over we do not need to get pulled over with all these empty beer bottles up here so we pulls over in the the park city park where his uh, and you know so I, I take the bottles i walk out to the, to the garbage can and i i throw them in there and then i go in the back Paul has his automatic door, and it opens up, and then all of a sudden his little axe bottle rolls out. Oh no! And I was like, <gasps> I was still in the car. And then these, like, <laughs> these two ladies are walking by with their kids, and it, first of all, when the bottle hits, it's like it's total fragrant. You can like, oh, you can smell it everywhere. I mean, <laughs> it instantly went fifty yards. I mean, seriously, fifty it was, yards. It was like and, the most wonderful, sad yeah. smell yeah. ever. <laughs> <laughs> These ladies come up with their kid, and they, they hear the bottle, and they're kind of like, "Oh, I forget exactly what they said, but it basically alluded that we were losers." <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you hear what the the kids said. Uh, the that? kids that were walking with the, the mom said, that smells great, or something like that. Uh, <laughs> and I was like, yeah, pay attention, buddy. Oh, yeah. Man. Son, you never want to be like, 
those guys. Yeah. Are, okay. <laughs> exactly. They probably smoke weed. <laughs> They're probably smoking a bong as we speak. <laughs> Lord. So, needless to say, I was very excited about buying that bourbon because I had a coworker who worked in Colorado, and he advised me over and over again. If you ever see that bottle, buy that bottle. And that was an expensive bourbon at the it time was, for us. It was. It was like 55. No. It was 55, 60. No, it was 60, 68, 72. Wow. It's about $72 because I remember I went and purchased you another did. one for you. He went and bought another one for oh, me. Oh, how sweet. Yeah. It was yeah. Really He's sweet. a good friend. Yeah. Sure. Well, not really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't so balance. It doesn't you should have picked him up <laughs> earlier. Okay, you should have picked him up earlier, but no. And the thing is, I'm think, taking the bike. <laughs> I think, I and think, I'm not telling Sean at all. That son of a bitch. <laughs> I think we're not real impressed with it either. Unfortunately. Yeah, it no, wasn't. It wasn't not, really fantastic either. Yeah, maybe we should. Well, we still have that bottle, don't we? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's out there. Maybe we should uh, try it one of these days. Try it again. Now nah, we'll get. We'll get there. We need to go through uh, all the bottles that we have. I think that if we continue the trend that we're, we're having, where we we uh, buy one bottle a week, uh, but we pitch in and get a, just a really nice bottle, um, we can start. Once we get down to where we only have one bottle we're sampling, then we can dive back into our collection. And then this time. Recorded as we go, right? Uh, y- yeah, I because it's hard to that. remember 190 bourbons. Yeah, is it 190? Got to be. Uh, would you give it a grade? I mean, yes. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's oh, what one. we need that to would do. Be the idea. Yeah, yeah. We 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 should have done that, but you know, here here's the thing. Um, even if we did do it, I don't really feel that it would be accurate because you know we're we're not connoisseurs. We're not sommeliers of bourbon. <laughs> but you know what? I think now after a year and something of doing it. We, we could we. I think we have a valid opinion. Well, plus all so. those bottles yeah. have been open now for a year, so yeah. or breathing. more for some of them. And uh, you know, some of the theories and thoughts are that the bourbon improves when that happens. Yeah. So the oh. the idea is uh, is that once the bourbon gets past the shoulder of the bottle, there is a, an amount of oxygen that's allowed into the bottle that allows it to breathe to the point where it. It, it does oh, something magical, you know, yeah. or, or not necessarily. It, it doesn't necessarily make it better or worse. It just can make it better. It can make it worse. I don't know. It just makes it different from when you first open, open it. it. It's kind of like a bottle of wine letting it breathe. Right, right, you know, yeah. right. Yeah. I, do, I do know that either way, it affects your blood alcohol content. Uh, I don't I understand. Yeah, it does not change that. <laughs> yeah, it, it, so your blood reacts the same way, apparently. It okay. does. Uh, I just wanted to confirm It doesn't that. react. It doesn't uh, revolt. It just stays the same. It stays the same. Does, yeah. it does, uh, this may be my ignorance, but does the is there, is there any chance that the proof can increase while it's sitting in there, or does it need to be... It would have to evaporate, wouldn't it? Uh, uh, and then the alcohol question. would evaporate. No, uh, the proof stays the same. There yeah. you go. It stays- it's not continuing to age, age or whatever it does For to gain age. its proof. Unless it's in a wooden carafe, so to speak. Well, no, no, I would just no. It. Remember, the proof is uh, when it's first distilled before it ever gets to yeah. the, the barrel. It's the distilling process. Oh, so the, process. the oak is is simply for filtering the the taste. Correct. Tasting color. There you go. It's so there's no color. Wow. tasting colors. Matter of fact, it, Mr. Producer, if you'd click on the the moonshine, the moonshine bottle. All right. So this is interesting, right? It's before it's aged, uh, before it's aged in a barrel, right? So, so that moonshine is plain Jane, eighty proof. That's right. It's it's so basically it's everything we drink, every single bourbon we've ever had started out looking Start, like this. Like that looks like yeah, this, but not eighty proof. No, it goes into the barrel at one twenty six or something like that. Right. So, and then they dilute it with water to get it down to eighty. Right. That was one of the questions I asked when I was at the Wild Turkey yeah, Distillery. There's a, there's a like, minimum proof that needs to go into the very barrel. Very good question. Yeah, I is said, it, what do you... Is what it water you, or is water. it... It's water. 100%. Just, that's it? That's what I asked him. I said, because yeah. all they ever talked about was the 101, 101. I go, well, you have an 80 proof too. What? Do, where in the process does it become 80 proof? And they go, we just mix it with water to dumb it down to 80 proof. 80 proof. Yeah. Because uh-huh. there's some people don't want... It doesn't actually yeah. take that much. Right. Yeah. yeah Sometimes it could take an ice cube. Yeah. That's why... You know, a lot of these times, uh, that's why they're good on ice cubes, especially the stuff strong. Yeah. I'm actually enjoying this I am more too. than um, in the metal one. I, I like drinking. I'm not knocking our our fantastic dudes like us Yeti cups, uh, but when it's like a pure, uh, it's a cocktail or an old fashioned. We'll drink it out of that. Yeah, I like the Glen Cairns as well. I think I'll have the second one in the Glen Cairn. This was just a little bit too meaty for me to. I needed a little bit of cube with it. Mm-hmm. Right. The next yeah. one, the next one is what, 110? 
<laughs> yeah, it's still kind of <laughs> yeah. One thirty, one ten. Yeah, we're stepping yeah. down. Yeah, it's a real <laughs> step down. Yeah, we'll take the second one a little lighter. Real step down. Lord. Yeah. We have other we have other ones up here we could try if we need something a little less uh oh, no no we're, we're good. Yeah, we're less good. Robust. A little less octane. Right. All right. Yeah. Well I'll tell you what, I, I saw uh, I saw some argumentative stuff in the news with uh, that Britney bitch uh, Oh I mean I was saying bitch. I don't mean I apologize. I didn't mean to call her a bitch. But that the young lady that plays basketball. Yeah. Right. You know, because you know what here's the thing, man. I, I don't want to just she uh, uh, these the kids nowadays they just, they're in their own, I don't get it. Kids nowadays are different. Um, and our, our kids, uh, Paul and I uh, can attest, this past weekend, our kids are just fucking different. They don't have the same type of respect that um, that we did as growing up as kids for authority or just across the board, even for some certain parents. They just, the mentality is different. And I don't know if I feel as a parent or whether society has beat them this direction, uh, but you know I feel that this Britney chick is the same thing. You know I, you know I feel feel bad. She's what six foot nine? She's a, a, a basketball player. Makes about five million dollars a game or per season, not game. Per year, no, yeah, got to be per season. You know, but I mean, come on, five million dollars. You know, and, and if she's gonna, if she wants to make a stupid decision and. And uh, Smuggle Pot, whatever the hell she did over there where she's got arrested for having it. Well, she's been going over there for like 10 years. But that's Why? But that's her. She's playing basketball. She's, playing basketball. she's the representing League. the Russians. But but ah. the thing is, is that's on her. I mean, she broke the law. She needs to, to pay the consequences. Now, you know? was she and going through the airport when she was caught yes. with the weed? And what okay. exactly? Was it, was it weed? Was it I think it was oil? Vials was for it, a vape. So it was, it was a, vape a vape with, uh, they, with the well, THC a, and hashish. Oh. I think how, they called it a dab pen, right? That's the well. That's it's a vape. It's the same damn thing, isn't right? It? So well, the the problem right. with the vapes is that depending on your the prosecutor, the the vapes have a tendency to Be since more they're more potent. concentrated, right. uh, it, it's it's kind of like having a, a tremendous amount with you. you know, with us, we're kind of like, oh, yeah, it's a little bag. Mm-hmm. That it's, yeah, it's exactly. very quantifiable. You can see how much it is with those vapes. It's very misleading. You know, you can have a pound of pot in a little tiny vape, <laughs> you know, so you don't know how much is in there. Well, she evidently had a lot. And uh, I guess it was supposed to last her uh, quite some time while she was over there. And you know what? I mean, that's just uh, It feels stupid. bad. But here's the thing. In the United States, um, if I'm driving down the road right. and I get pulled over and I've got the smell of marijuana and they find some bags on me and I'm going to get in trouble. And if uh, the consequences are for me to go to jail and spend some time in there. Then that's what's that's what's going to have to ha- happen, you know. I I don't understand the disconnect. Regardless whether she's disrespectful for our flag and our nation and kneels at these games, and for that I condemn her. Uh, but for being a normal person and smoking out there, you know, that's just a mistake. That's just a something that they did, and that you know she'll pay her time, and then when she's released, whatever. But I just the, the argument for get her out of jail. It's kind of like bullshit. I'm like, let that bitch sit in jail. Yeah. I mean, we're, there are people now in jail in the United States that are in there criminally for, years, for pot. 15, I mean, 20 come years on, get the for fuck a bag of here. Yeah, for a bag gonna, of pot. Yeah, if you're gonna if you're gonna go through all this effort to bring her back from Russia and then give her zero consequences at all, then you, in theory, should let out everybody who's yeah who's been yeah. busted for the same for, thing. Yeah, it's so coming. unless you're unless you're trafficking. If you're trafficking the drug, that's right. one thing. Yeah. But if they got busted because you're you got pulled over user. and you have a bag, or you mean just she, like she, she would have keyed her, the yeah, she would have like been the uh, drug mule, yeah. yeah, with the condoms. Oh, she's she, a big girl. She oh, wow. probably has a huge va- cavity up there. Okay, wow, <laughs> extra long. <laughs> All righty then. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Well, well, if but, she does get released, uh, let's just say that there's some sort of reciprocal agreement. Says, "All right, look, we're, we're going to take her." And we're gonna. She's gonna serve time over here, you know. That would be a fair assessment. But then again, That's so what? Happen. I mean, what's happening over there? I mean, is she being abused? I mean, no, I don't believe she is. So I mean, you know, let her spend her time. If if nine years is what it is, hey man, look, there are people in China, like you had mentioned, I think in one podcast or two ago, are called the uh, Uyghurs. Yeah, there are people in China. If you if you get fucking uh, caught in China with drugs, you get hung. You get hung. Yeah. 
And you, right. You, well, you I, had to, well, well, I had to tell my Sing- Singapore. They do that too. I don't know if they can do that anymore. But when I lived in Jakarta, there were two British girls that were caught with uh, drugs, and they well, lost, I think they I lost think, their court case and got hung. Yeah. yeah, I think the ability to travel the world is much easier than it used to be, and I think people <sighs> think, and a lot of them, a lot, there's a lot of modern cities out there, right? Maybe you think you're in the U.S. I had to tell my son because he just went to. He actually just got home. Uh, I don't know if he's home yet, but uh, he landed from Someone Greece. Came home. Yeah. yeah, so he went to Greece. And I had to tell him, I was like, you need to remember where you're at. Absolutely. It's like, you're not in the U.S. Yeah. anymore. It's they dangerous. Have diff- they have different laws over there. I was like, you have to, you know, I don't know anything about Greece, right, as far as if it, is it safe or dangerous. I think it's, it's safe. But it's I was a like, foreign but country. You need, but I, you're in a foreign country. You had your head, head on a swivel, right? Just yeah. make sure what's going on. You're not, you're not in America. You're not, you're not in Frisco anymore. Right. Yeah, and Frisco, is a, there's, a, there's a huge bubble in yeah. Frisco, the mentality. And that's kind of what I was driving at. Um, was the mentality that these kids and I'm a little frustrated uh, <laughs> from this past weekend. You know, one of my kids um got drunk and he's on the cusp of he's he's underaged. He got drunk and you know and, and he's giving the authorities a hard time. You know, and he's not taking it serious. You know, and they they threw him in the drunk tank with a couple of his friends. And what would get him to take it serious? You know what? Probably some serious consequences. Uh, I know. But, you know Unfortunately, that may happen if you know, he doesn't fix it, right. his, his mentality, right? Mm. It's yeah. un- it's fr- it's frustrating as, as a dad, you know, to go down there and they're they're goofing off and, you know, it, it's just they're not taking it seriously at they all. They were not taking it seriously at all. You know, oh, and no. I scolded them. I, I tried to to – I tried to sc- – I did scold them. I scolded them when one of their first came out because I was I was bitter. I'm just like you know. There's no humility. There's no. Um, there's no. There's nothing. It, yeah, it's just, no long faces. Not no. No, no. they're all giggling. Yeah, and being having, quiet with long faces. You know, and, it, and it, Preston looked like he was about to to giggle and laugh. It was like you know. It's just frustrating because had that been me growing up, you'd gotten torn. Oh my up. gosh, you would have gotten torn in Dude. half. Yeah. Well, that's what I mean. Were there any repercussions at home, or is anything taken away? Were there? Did anything happen? Well, I mean, what can you do? He's oh, a college. I could do things. Well, certain things I could do. What would you have done? Well, he's still on uh, getting a bunch of money from me, right? That would end. What are you saying? His you're phone send, would go away. Off without, you're going to send your son no, off without a phone? No, it's school's paid for. Yeah, I'd send, him, I'd send him without a phone. Hell yeah. It'd be gone. I don't think your wife would allow that. Yeah, she would. 100%. And I'd tell him, I was like, if you want a phone, you can go pay for it yourself. That phone would be gone. And anything else like that would be gone. Yeah, yeah I you're get hard it. ass. I get it. I mean, it's, you know. But you know what? I guess it, you know, know. it would I mean. take circumstances like that. I mean, I, I wouldn't take the phone, but I definitely would take. See, well, I don't why know. not? Why what, not? Well, because I want to know if my son's all right. There's always going to be ways for him to reach out to you. Uh, well, you asked why not, and that's my answer. All right. Yeah, my, there, I think that's be, an inappropriate punishment. But I do like the idea of taking shit from them. Oh, you know, I so. think it's fully appropriate. There needs they need to feel pain. Until they feel that pain, it's it's. So they're gonna have to probably go to jail. They're gonna have to do something. I mean, because they're they're not they're not taking it serious at all. Right. You know, and it's just you know what I don't know. And it's not just them. I mean, that's that's my point. Right. It's, no. it's not just them. It's the Frisco bubble. But then it I'm is. like, all right, is it the Frisco bubble? Because then you got that Britney bitch that's doing the same shit in Russia. It's not. It's the generation. It is like a generation. It thing. is. I think part of it oh, is, yeah. is they've been kind yes. of desensitized. Exactly. And that's from a good all word. the TikTok videos oh, of just, all these people disrespecting the, Black the police. The Lives Matter programs where they're they're out there and they're beating up the police and they're just you know and police are second citizens, second class citizens, and you know that shit's got to go. Yeah. You know yeah. It, it's got to go because the police deserve so much respect. And that's um, that's actually what I tore you know, my son up about. Priority. I like, they, I mean, they they have a rough job. They don't need punk ass kids. They don't. And mm-hmm. it's it's you know, it's giving disgusting. them attitude and being yeah. It was that I lit them up for that. I will support a police officer a thousand percent. You know, I, I hope I never have to be put in a position where I have to, but I will. If right. I have to pull over and help them manhandle somebody or or do anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, will. did you see the footage where the sixteen year old kid was fighting the cop in the subway? No. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. And, and some and, and uh, African American no. boy. They were the guy was everyone was videoing it, and he just got out of jail. 
The boy Gosh. just got out of jail. He was just released. It was violent. And he was fist And nobody helped him at all. He huh? was re- and he was manhandling the cop for a while because the cop is restrained from using certain techniques now. Right. Because right. he doesn't want to be everybody's videoing. Yeah, everyone's they don't videoing. Want that to balloon into a you can't go like to George, George Floyd, Floyd right. yeah, on a George anymore. Floyd scenario. Right. So this kid w- was kind of manhandling this cop, throwing him on the ground, wrestling him to the ground, getting him it's in deadlocks. New York City subway. Oh my God! If mm. I would witness that, I would absolutely jump to the cop's aid. Yeah. No, they all had their phones out. That's what I can't stand about this Video generation. Yeah. Everybody's got their phones out recording. Yeah, the That's phones amazing. out in, in, in New York subways. There was someone, you know, that young lady getting raped. Let me see if we can find a video of that. Even if we did see the video, well, I don't think they'd have. I think it's just what down here. The the kid in the blue, white, and black jacket down there. Unbelievable. Yeah, and he's just well, that's uh, Detroit. I don't know, but it, it was bad. I mean, this cop was. Uh, yeah, he's had he a, he's had a fit for himself, yeah, and it's, it's it's got to be frustrating for a cop. And, and you know, the question is, why the hell was that cop by himself? You know, they're never supposed to be alone, especially in New York. No, he had New a partner. York. Oh my gosh! No, he had a partner. What was the partner doing? Uh, she was videoing. <laughs> she was peeing at the time. No, I think there was uh, someone else that she was trying to, but she wasn't very effective. That what nah, she was doing. Yeah. And, you know, this brings up some other stuff too about about women in the workplace with uh, you know handling jobs, not necessarily of a man, but handling a job that requires a certain physical strength, a certain physical aptitude that you you need to be able to fill those shoes up. It's kind of like being a fireman. Mm-hmm. You know, if, if you know, I, I hats off to the woman that wants to be a fireman, but God bless it. You better get your little ass up that ladder and fucking carry down that two hundred fifty pound f- motherfucker on, on on your shoulders. You know you've got to yeah. you got to man up. Right. You know. Yeah, and, I remember. And, there and being I sound like some... a douchebag saying that, but that's that's the the reality of it. Wasn't there an issue where they were kind of uh, dumbing down the requirements um, in the military? Yes. Yeah. Was yeah. It oh, the, definitely. Was yeah. it the special forces or green berets or something? Yeah, or? one it was of those, the green berets. Yeah, one of them. They were dumbing down so the ladies could. Uh, that is ridiculous. That's really dangerous. That's yeah. That's really dangerous. It is. Because it's not a matter. I mean, look, it's it's the it's getting the job done. If the job requires XYZ, uh XYZ doesn't we don't give a shit if they're male or female. I mean what, it's XYZ. We need yeah, to get it done. A, yeah. If it's a guy that's not strong enough, yeah. He doesn't make it. Yeah, exactly. I would pass it. I'm not in it. Right? Right. There's a there's a, a certain small percentage of men who can pass that shit. Not all the men can put in There'd be even a smaller percentage of women that could pass it. Right. I'm not saying they can't. It's going to be a very small percentage. Right. Right. Yeah, there are some that are, you know, you know, hosses, right? Sure. Sure there are. Super of strong. course. There's very yeah. effeminate men and there's very masculine women. Right. Yeah, exactly. Right. So, um, but those masculine women are still not at the top of the, the men. Right. Right. Yeah, no, it's, I mean, it's just. It goes back to, I, I saw an interview with, um, you know, it goes back to the the, uh, the guy swimmer who was uh, swimming NCAA. He was swimming in the women's. Oh, yeah. Leah Thompson uh, or whatever. Uh, yes, something. Yes. And they said, well, he was ranked 400 Leah and Thomas. something. Yeah, he was he was ranked 400 and something in the men's. And he was winning in the in the women's. And I saw the same footage. If you remember, John McEnroe said she would get destroyed in the men's division. She'd be ranked like 700th in men's. The yeah, which wo- Serena Woman Williams or okay. Venus Williams, one of the Williams sisters. And I saw an interview with her, who said, "I have no desire." He goes, "They beat the shit out of me. Their serves are 130 miles an hour. They hit harder. They're faster, uh, and I would lose every single game." Serena Williams said that. Yes. Wow. Good for her that she didn't like, you know, overreact and yeah. be all woke about it. Yeah, she's like, I play, she goes, I like playing in the ladies. She goes, I will not survive John the match. John McEnroe said that? Yes. And oh, they wow. called wow. Him, They called him out on Good Morning America, and he had to backpedal and kind of apologize for it. Well, That's yeah, sad. I was going to say, I'm amazed. It's sad that he had to apologize for it, because it's the yeah. reality of it. And you know what? Well, hold, well, hold on. There was, a, there was a match between, and I know it was kind of like a charity match. But there was a woman and a man, a bit two two top. That was a while back. Yeah, what was that? Billie Jean King and somebody else. That was back in the seventies, I think. Yeah, it was. Oh. Bobby. Bobby Jones or something. Yeah, Bobby Jones. That. It was cool. Yeah. It was cool. 
All right, well, that's, uh, we're hearing the bell here. So. Yeah. Well, we had a fun packed first half of our uh, Dude Side Gus program. It's August 9th, and we have a super special guest star, Mr. John. Hey, glad to be here, guys. Yeah, well, we got a second half popping up. We're going to enjoy another bourbon, and we're going to go downstairs, take a little bit of break. We're Dudes Like Us, partying it up. I'm Sean. I'm Paul. I'm Jeff. I'm John. There you go. <laughs> <laughs>